morning y'all from Texas. How are you doing? My name is Ricky Paskett. How are you? And if this is your first time joining me, welcome to my page. Um, and I hope you stay subscribed and check out my other material. Uh, I'm just waking up, so I'm a little bit off, that's why. And I haven't had my coffee yet, so I need to have my coffee. And then when I have my coffee, things will be good. So, how are you all doing today? I'm uh, going to be doing more art, more paintings. And... I see some of you liked my adventure uh, of uh, creek finds. Who knows what I might find down there. With all the sediment always kicking up, you never know what's going to pop up, which is interesting. But I would love to do some more uh, nature hunts. And you can join me on my adventures, which are going to be absolutely amazing. I'm thinking about all the different fossil formations I would love to go to. You know, the Belmont Mud Formation, the Barazas River, and go back up to Ladona and go hit up that red clay and find some dinosaur bones and teeth. And uh, that would be good because all I found was a dinosaur rib that time, and I really want to find some cool stuff to show off. Because people sometimes think that, hey, that's a little bit boring. It's not boring when you find yourself your first set of Mosasaurus jaws. <laughs> or you find yourself a woolly mammoth tusk. You know why I'm always at it too? You know how much a mammoth tusk is worth? Six grand. If it's a very nice one. If it's a matching pair, it's like 12 grand. You find a... a uh, complete uh, complete woolly mammoth you got yourself hundreds of thousands of dollars off that you would have to go to a private collector because usually the general public doesn't normally have that kind of money museums probably do but that's about it but if I find some start finding woolly mammoth tusk I will be keeping the first set, though, because, or, you know, it's because uh, I don't find them that very often. And I want to sell it to a museum or, or something of that sort of nature. Because I sell it to um, a collector, they might cut it up, make it into knife blades, and, you know, sometimes integrity is worth more than a dollar bill. Saving history is worth more than a dollar bill. People forget that. Money causes people to do stupid things. Remember that too. So, collecting and saving these mammoth remains is something I do because I, I don't really like them winding up in you know knife maker sounds you know if you get a hold of it and you make it well then I guess you paid for it it's rightfully your property but if I find stuff I usually don't sell it to the general public because of that sort of issue and yeah so I don't want to get too far off <laughs> so there will be lots of other interesting things. I keep things fresh, and it confuses algorithm, I know that. But sometimes it's not about the money. It's thinking about what the viewer wants, and that's what really matters.